it's easier to be a cross-dresser now. I don't know whether we are accepted so much more, but we're not so strange to a lot of people. 20 years ago, you couldn't do half of what we're doing today. So it's an entirely different world. There's all kinds of services and, and all that, that are available for you. Miss Fira's Finishing School is the world's first male to female cross-dressing academy. It's a school where we have a faculty of about 10 different teachers who teach different subjects to adult men who love to dress in women's clothes. This is really about saying, you know, this is who I am and I want to find out more about it. My name is Jennifer James and I'm the Academy Student Council President, if you will, and uh, we're here to do a makeover. Well, I would definitely say that Jennifer is a Tom girl, you know, before she came to the Academy. The Academy has taught me more to, you know, uh, comport myself, say, you know, in a more feminine style. When women wanted to have um, more in, of the male experience, when we wanted to go from the bedroom to the boardroom, we created the women's movement. and men to have this need for balance and uh, so I say for every woman who burned her bra there's a man ready to wear one. My experiences as a sex worker really gave me the confidence to make the Academy a success because I had learned a lot and, it, and mainly what I call my theory of sexual evolution that no matter who we are we all have our right to, to explore ourselves and um, evolve sexually as long as we're not hurting other people. The students who come here they all want to be Veronica Vera and uh, they all want to spend time with her and uh, she really is the brains and the beauty behind Miss Vera's finishing school. We're the only school that really has a full faculty and the faculty are experts in their fields so we're the, really the only school um, of its kind in the world. The hardest thing to change and I've always felt this course is the voice if you will uh, but uh, no um, you know if you time the you know your shave properly you know you won't get a five o'clock shadow. I'm most conscious of my voice for for sure. Sometimes the biggest uh, challenge is to be able to get up enough nerve to get dressed, get changed, and get out the front door on the street. It can get tough sometimes. Um, a lot of snickers, sometimes people say snide things. A lot of people really do like you, they'll appreciate, um, especially women can appreciate the amount of effort that goes into dressing. It's not something where you just put on a dress and poof, you're, you know, beautiful. Um, a lot of us aren't. A lot of us look like guys wearing dresses. Some of us look better than others. Some of us actually do pass. Some people think that cross-dressers are automatically gay. You know, that's been the number one misconception, which is totally untrue. Most of the people that come here identify as heterosexual, but Part of what they learn when they come here is that the line between who's gay, who's bisexual, who's um, heterosexual is a very blurry line, especially when it comes to fantasy. My experience has been that um, you know most people that cross dress are uh, heterosexual. I would definitely say J uh, James is heterosexual. You know, if anything, James is uh, lesbian or Jennifer James is lesbian. The goal for the students in the school is not so much to make them um, a totally femme person, you know, just change from male to female, but to take the lessons that he learns when on femme and integrate them into his life so that no matter what his fashion statement 
or her fashion statement, that person is a happier, healthier, sexier human being. I would describe the process more as psychological than physical. Um, the physical is done for you know me virtually. It's the psychological aspects that uh, you know are just a little bit different or not as controllable as one would think they would be. One of the most important mental changes that the student can have is uh, to have less of a feeling of guilt about this. And not only that, but also the idea of growing up. Because for many of the people who come here, they've been doing this since they were children, and they've been doing it a lot of time in secret. What I learned from her is the spirit of them. Like she says, chef chez la femme, and being a woman, or having a femme spirit is so important, and not just dressing or acting the right way, but feeling the right way. About 60% of the men who come to the academy are married. And sometimes the students who are married bring their wives. Wives are always invited. I am married, uh, no children. Been married for 14 years now. My wife does not like this. Her word is that she tolerates it. That's her word. Um, but we... She understands this is something I need to do to be myself. The more the genders blend, the more freedom we all have. Because even if people don't cross dress, they can uh, applaud the fact that, there, that people are going for this kind of liberation of themselves. I'm for uh, liberating it, letting it all hang out, dressing it up and having fun.